Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create an accordion style FAQ. So what that'll look like when it's done is similar to this. So there's a question and you click it for the answer. Okay, so this code is coming from um, com. So he's the one who came up with the coding and he cr created it to make, uh, make it work with Markdown. So it's definitely something I would recommend, especially if you're going to be answering some questions that people have, which I will be. So let's go to the contact page because this is where I'm going to add it. Okay. So I'll put the link to this in the actual um, extra resources, but, but I also have the actual coding. I put it together into a text document and it has some instructions that you can follow and I'll show you what's done here. First thing we have to do is we have to enable the jQuery library. So we'll go into settings and then advanced and then code injection. And then in the header, we're just going to paste this. So I already had it there. So then we'll go back, 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 and we'll go back into design next. Okay. So next up, we're going to be pasting this in the actual page that you want to have the FAQ. So I'm going to have it on the contact page. So I'm going to go to the contact page, click on the little gear. Then I'm going to go to advanced and paste this in. Okay. And then we'll hit save. And then finally, we have one more block of code, which is right down here. We're going to copy this and we're going to go into design, custom CSS, and put it in here. So just leave some space, put it in there. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and hit save, go back, go back. So now we're ready to actually put this in. So what we do is we click on edit wherever we want to put it. I'm going to click right here. I want it at the top for now. And I'm going to search for Markdown. Okay, so this is it right here. You can enter that. So for Markdown, what we do is you put two um, hashtag signs and then the question. So how much are your services? And then you press enter and then put the answer. So each project is different. Okay, and then we put space, space, and then the next question. Um, how can I contact you? Use the page, or use the form on this page. Okay, so we'll hit apply. So for now, it's still not showing up as a drop down when you click. So that for that to work, we have to refresh the page. So I'll, first, I'll move this to the side. We'll leave it like that. I'll hit save. So I'll go to, for example, blog, and then come back to the contact us page. And now you can see it's put down neatly. And when you press on the question, the answer pops up and the sign changes from plus to minus. Okay. So that's using JavaScript. And then now let's say, for example, you have this code entered in properly and you like how it looks, but you don't want to use header two. So having two symbols is header two. Right. Let's say you want to use header three, right? You'd put in three symbols here and you'd hit apply and hit save. So header three looks a little bit different. It's a smaller font size. So I'll show you both of them, actually one of each. So you can see, so you see how this is a larger size and this is a smaller size. So if you want to use header three, you put three, but before it starts working, you actually have to go into the, into the code here, into advanced. And everywhere you see that H2, you have to change to H3. So H3 there, also here, there's one over here. And I believe that's the last, oh, there's one more. And finally that one. And then we'll hit save. So now it works for H3. You can also change this to work with H1 if you want the uh, font to be really large, or you can go into the style editor so style editor and you can scroll down to h1 and you can change the font size here but again keep note that this does change the font size for your entire website so if you want this to be h2 but a smaller font your best bet would be to make it an h3 okay so that's how you would have an accordion style faq